Hey guys, Harsh here and welcome back to Technolobe. Video content is literally everywhere. YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere you go, you can find some top quality video content. And that's the kind of era that we live in. That's why making good quality video content for your brand or personal page is of prime importance in this modern era. Hence, today in this video, I am going to give you some shooting and editing tips which will help you make top class videos without installing any software on your PC. Everything is cloud based and free of cost. And that's the best part about it. So yeah, without wasting any more time, let's get started, shall we? First up, let's go ahead and talk about some shooting tips. These shooting tips will help you make really good videos and save you a lot of time in editing as well. First and foremost, shoot in good lighting. This is the main thing while shooting videos. The lighting should be good. Now, if you don't have professional studio lighting, don't worry. You can just sit by a window and make sure that the light falls on your face while you're shooting. It should not fall behind or something like that. It should fall on your face and your face should be well lit. If that's the case, your videos will definitely look good. The second tip is that use a tripod or something else to stabilize your videos. If you have a tripod, then well and good. But if you don't have a tripod, you can use some books or something to place behind your smartphone or camera so that your camera is stable in one place. This will also make your videos look very professional and top class. The third tip is to write a script or pointers for your video. Now, this is a very important thing because this will help you structure your entire video even before you start shooting. If you don't do this, then while shooting, you will have a lot of difficulty in what to say and when to say that's why I would say write a script but if you cannot write a script at least write down the pointers because that will definitely help in shooting better videos the fourth point that comes in is a very basic one but that will help you a lot while editing your videos so take a long pause before you start speaking and also after you stop speaking a lot of time what happens is that once we press the record button, the camera takes some time to start the recording. That's why I take a long pause before you start speaking and also after you stop speaking. So yeah, those were some basic video shooting tips. Now let's talk about video editing tips. After you are done shooting the videos, it's time to put everything together and make everything look seamless. The video editing software that we are going to use today is called as InVideo. It's completely free of cost and cloud based. That means you don't need to install anything on your PC. You can access it via a browser. InVideo is an online web based video editing software. It comes with a lot of pro editing features and really good templates as well. You can start making gold standard videos immediately without any prior video editing experience. You can access InVideo via a browser and start editing videos immediately. So all you need is a good internet connection and you will be good to go. All right, welcome to the editing part. I've got my laptop over here and we are going to edit a video and I will show you the process of how to do it and also give you some important tips while doing it. Now, as you can see, I've got all my video files over here. I am going to go ahead and rename them first because that is a very important step that will help me place the videos according to their position. So for example, this one is the intro. This one is tip one this one is tip two and done so yeah, this is how i've labeled all my video files and this will help me while video editing i don't need to look for files i know their name i can just pick them up and drop them onto the timeline that's why I rename your video files this is a very important step after this is done we'll dive into in videos online portal so I'll go to invideo.io. Now this is the screen that you will see once you log into InVideo. These are all my past projects. I can edit them or I can start with a new project. So I am going to start with a new project. I'm going to select vertical 9x16 over here because I'm making an Instagram reel. That's why I'm going to select vertical 9x16. Now I am going to start with a blank canvas. I don't want to use a template, but if you want to use a template, then you can you know select one template from here and you get a lot of you know pre-made options and you can go with the one that you like but i am going to go with a blank canvas over here so blank canvas and vertical line by 16 make a video now this is the video editor first up i'm going to go ahead and upload the media so desktop i have my folder over here and i've got all my files over here so let's go ahead and upload them let's go let's go shall we so as you can see, our intro file has been uploaded. So let's click on that and drag that onto the timeline over here. 
and as soon as I drag it to the timeline, it will ask me to trim this scene. Now here's where the earlier tip comes into play. I told you guys that take a big pause before starting and after ending the video and you can see that over here. So basically I can cut this scene very easily and then paste it onto the timeline. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut the scene and paste it onto the timeline. So we can just, you know, play it back a little. And as you can see, I am just, you know, standing still taking a big pause. And here's where I start talking, I feel. Then now. Yeah, here's where I start talking. So I'm just gonna, you know, trim it till here. That's good. And... Don't wanna... Gonna be the major issue that you faced. And that's where I wanna stop. So trim it till here. Done. And that's pretty much it. That's how easily you can cut a scene and then put it onto your timeline. It's that simple. I am going to do the same thing for each and every clip and let me put everything together. Now in this video clip, I want to add sections. Like there's one part of the video that I want, then I do not want the other part. And finally, I want the last part. That's why I click add section over here. And as you can see, it created a couple of sections. So, you know, basically I can, you know, select parts from the video and take those as well. And it will stitch them together. So it's very easy to cut videos using in video. So basically I've laid out all my files over here and everything is on the timeline. So my cutting part is done. Everything is seamless. And now let's make the video better by adding some, you know, stock footage, some titles and some music as well. First up, I'm going to add some stock footage. So we'll go to video over here and we are going to search smartphone because this is a smartphone related video. This one looks good. So here we go. I'm going to resize it. And this looks good. So let's go to all scenes. The number one problem that smartphones face and it's looking is good. battery life. I want to cut it here. So timeline again. I want to you know, just cut it here. And done. So The number one problem that smartphones face is with battery life. So it Basically, you saw how easy it is to just take stock footage and add them to your videos. You can add stock footage as B-roll and A-roll as well. B-roll is supporting shots and A-roll is your main shot. So basically, you can use stock footage, stock photos, stock videos, and they work flawlessly using in video. The next thing that I want to do is add title to this video because titles and supers are something that look really interesting. So let's go ahead and add a title. So we'll go to text. As you can see, there are a number of options over here. In fact, a lot of great and good options. For example, you also have the Instagram handle title and you also have, you know, other titles for social media credits. You have location boxes, search boxes, music and a bunch of other titles. I'm just going to go for a basic one over here because that's the style I want. But you can go for whatever you want. I'm just going to add, you know, I feel this one is good. So let's just, you know, go to timeline and I'm going to add it over here. Yep. The number one problem that smartphones face and is looking with good. Now I'm going to end it as soon as the B roll ends. So here, let me play it back. The number one problem that smartphones face is with battery life. So if you want to use your smartphone for a couple of years, three years, or four years, then I'm pretty sure that battery life is going to be the major issue that you face. And that's looking good. Basically, this is how you can add titles as well. And titles will take your video to the next level. Finally, I also want to add some background music. So let's go to the music library over here. We have rock, chill out, cinematic, country, and all, you know, all these genres of music. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to go for something like pop because, you know, pop is the kind of music that I'm looking for. This one is good. Background music. I'm going to edit the background music. Volume and fade. I'm just going to reduce the volume to like 11, 12%. I want it to be background music and not the main music. That's why I'm going to reduce the volume. To like 12% is good. Fade in one second, fade out two seconds. That's good enough. So let's play it back. The number one problem that smartphones face is with battery life. Now, one best part over here is that I can also collaborate with my team. So if I press collaborate over here, it will save my video clip first and then it will load the collaboration media. I'm just going to skip over here and I can share my project and I can invite my team members to work on this project. We can all work on this project simultaneously using this collaboration features and it's an excellent one. So I can just, you know, invite Anurag over here, Anurag at technolobe.com. He's one of my interns 
and yeah i can just send him an invite as soon as anurag accepts the invite he can come on board and start editing the video with me this collaborate feature is awesome for people who work in teams and works like a charm so as you saw very easily i uploaded some videos to in video i cut them i put them together i added some b roll using stock footage i added some text and music as well basically you get all the pro editing features with in video you can literally make really good and gold standard videos from day one without having any prior editing experience so after you are done with the editing process you can go to download over here and then you have a lot of options you have 1080p default or 720p i'm going to keep it 1080p because i want high quality content 1080p and export after that it will take some time and export the video and then your download link will be ready so as you saw the entire video editing process was very simple and streamlined now there are some key features about invida that i would like to highlight first up you can add unlimited members to one account so basically if you work in a team you can give access to everyone and then you can collaborate on projects it becomes very easy to add members to your account Next up is that InVideo has a very strong community of marketing experts and content creators. So if you have any difficulty while editing your videos or if you want some information about how to use the pro features, then you can go to this community, ask your question and you will definitely get a reply and your answer. This is a very handy feature and one that will make you a very good video editor in no time. Now in video has a free plan and a paid plan. It's not like you have to pay for this software. It does come with a free plan which has a lot of editing features and also a library of 5000 templates. You also get access to the standard library for stock footage and that is excellent. Now if you want premium features and access to world class libraries like Shutterstock and iStock then you can upgrade to the paid plan and it is as low as $15 a month. Now don't worry I've got you covered over here. If you sign up for in video and use the code Technolo25 then you will get a 25% discount. So yeah, definitely check it out. I will drop a link to it in the description box below. So anyway, this was a very cool and interesting video about how to make videos. If you like this content, go ahead that like button and if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel to mean the world to me. My name is Harsh Punjabi and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.